Okay, so add that to your game. Let's keep going forward. Talking a long time, but I give you guys this free video. Sit through it, take this advice, apply it to your life. Seven, performances speak the loudest. It doesn't matter how good you know you are. All that matters is how good you play on game day. So I don't care. I don't care if you practice more than everyone else, if you care about this game more than everyone else, you got a better attitude than everyone else. If you don't show up on game day and play well on game day, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter how good you do in practice. It doesn't matter if you're the coach's son or if, he, if you're, I don't know, if you're jealous of other players because they get all the playing time. It doesn't matter. If you step on the field and you don't make a difference, you don't stand out, you don't perform, then none of the other stuff matters. This is the time to show up and play. And there's a couple of things that we can do to make this better. But if you want respect, you want praise, if you want to go to the next level, nobody cares how much work you put in on your own. Nobody cares how much practice, how much sacrifice you made. If you don't show up on game day, that's all that matters. You got to play well on game day. Okay, so... Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming the coach. Stop blaming the teammates. Stop blaming the referee. Stop blaming your environment. If you don't play well on game day, what was number two? It's all on you. And this is the time to show it. So <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of jump around these notes because I want to say right now, like if you can perform well in training. So first of all, if you're not playing well in games, you need to put in more work on your own. Okay, but if you're playing well, or if you're not playing well in training, like team practices, you need to put in more work on your own. But if you always play well in team practices, and for some reason you're crumbling in the games, you need to understand where it is. It's right here. It's in your head. Because, guess what? Your feet are still the same. Your technical ability is still the same as it is in training. Your fitness levels are still the same. Your tactical awareness is still the same. The only thing that's different is now you're in a game and now you're thinking differently in your head. In the practice, you're not thinking, you're present, you're in the moment, you're just training, you're just working hard, you're having fun. Now we get in the game and these thoughts start creeping in your head. What if this happens? What if I screw up? What if I miss the chance? Oh, I'm kind of nervous. What if I'm not as good as these guys? What if we lose? What if everyone watches in the fans and they laugh at me? Okay, you're not focused on the game. You have the ability to play well. The only thing different is the way that you're thinking. So what do you have to do? You have to control your thoughts. Your mind is your greatest asset. It doesn't matter how good your feet are because you can't put it together right here when it matters most. Okay, so I'm telling you, if you know that you're good enough to play with these guys in practice, then you can do the same thing in a game. The only thing different is your thoughts. So you need to control your thoughts and you need to talk yourself forward in this situation. If I have a bad touch, give me the ball again. I'm gonna do a better one this time. I'm gonna focus more. What can I do? How can I correct this? Give me the ball again. Give me the ball again. If I keep scoring up, give me the ball again. You have to be brave enough to make mistakes and to keep playing even when you're playing poorly. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. If you can play well in training, you can play well in games. The only thing different is the way that you're thinking. Believe in yourself. Don't blame anyone but yourself. If you're not playing well in games, it's not your teammates' fault for not passing you the ball. You need to make better runs. You need to work hard defensively to win the ball back. You need to have better off the ball movement. You need to find a way to get yourself in the game. You need to lift your teammates up rather than them bringing you down. If the coach isn't giving you playing time, why? Okay, maybe it's because you don't deserve it. You haven't proved yourself yet. You had those 10 minutes, but you didn't do anything in those 10 minutes. If you have those 10 minutes, you better make him know he's got to give you 20 next time. He's got to give you 90 next time. It's on you. Don't blame other people. When you blame other people, you blame the coach, you blame the referee, you blame your teammates, you give away all your power. When you say, you know what? This is on me. I'm not playing because I haven't proven myself. My teammates don't pass me the ball because they don't trust me because every time I do, I lose it. Okay, so I have to do something about it. I have to do something about it. Take the responsibility. Keep the responsibility, then you keep the power. The power to improve, the power to grow, the power to change. <clears throat> like I said, training training is about developing your, techn your technical skill, your physical. It's about learning positions. Matches are about mentality. Matches is about putting everything you know you can do together on the field. Okay, so training is about developing all those things. Matches is about applying, and that's all in the mind. Matches are about the mind. There's no substitute for match experience. So one of the best things you can do to get better at playing games, play more games. And a lot of you out there, I get these messages all the time. It's, oh yeah, I want to play, I want to play professional. And I'm like, okay, so what team are you playing at? Or what club are you playing at? What division are you playing at right now? Oh, I'm not actually in a team right now. Like, dude, you're 18 years old. You don't play organized football and you say you want to be a pro? It's not happening. You need more match experience. You got to be playing matches every single week. For me, uh, and because it's like COVID right now, there's restrictions, but 
Last year, I was playing on three teams. I'm 30, I'm almost 33. I was playing three teams. I was playing five matches a week. You're playing one match a month. You're playing one match a week. It's not enough. Yeah, I got to train. I was still training daily as well, training by myself. I had a couple team practices here and there, but we're playing matches, getting real experience, okay? Putting yourself in real situations, talking yourself through real struggle. That's when you get better. So I need you to find a way to get more match experience, whether that's playing drop-in, going on Facebook groups or finding local drop-ins, joining multiple teams. I was playing futsal, um, boarded and 7v7, playing outdoor, uh, playing different leagues, play co-ed league, play men's league, play play underage or if you're 16 you can play men's league as well or play adult league as well so find ways to get more matches that's where you can get more experience more growth play as much as you can and i'll just give you a story about my buddy <clears throat> i'll name him because it's a good story and he's a good guy and he, he'll appreciate it my friend amar is a guy that plays on my team but a guy i've worked a lot with over the years as far as his mentality he's getting stronger and stronger but this season we had a new coach come in and i was doing mainly the training for this team and this guy came in just to do the coaching because they didn't want me to be a player coach. Um, so I'm playing on that first team and this new coach came in to, to coach the first team. But my one, uh, he's my friend, but also my teammate. He had a really good season last year. But the new coach came in, didn't know who he was. Maybe he had his own opinions. He already had his own team selected in his head. And he didn't give this guy the opportunity. So what happened is Amar went back to his old, his old mentality. He started, oh, poor me. This guy doesn't respect me. This is bullshit. I'm going to quit. And just talking to him, got his mindset right, said, hey, come in. You got to prove yourself. This guy doesn't know you. He's made, his own, he's made his own decisions. Maybe they're the wrong decisions, but you can't control his decisions. You can only prove yourself with your performances. So got him into a game. He played about 30 minutes, but he tore it up. He scored a goal, made an assist, was all over the pitch, and changed the coach's mind. But he only did that with his performance. The coach didn't care that he was training by himself seven days a week. The coach didn't care that he scored 20 goals last season. The coach didn't know him. The coach had his own perceptions. The coach didn't know what the situation was. And it wasn't his fault. He was just doing what he thought was right. But he had to come. Amar had to come in with his performances. Let his performances speak for himself. Performances speak the loudest. It doesn't matter what you're doing in training if you can't do it on game day. But he came and he proved his point and he got his spot. Okay, so if you've ever been in a situation like that, stop blaming other people. Take your own responsibility. Prove yourself with your performances. Okay, we cruising. I know it's a lot of talking, guys, but if you're with me, it's going to be valuable.